out on the red corner with a record of two wins, one loss, with one KO to his name. And yesterday's weighing, he scaled 11 stone, 7 pounds, 10 ounces, and tonight he wins the black and gold shorts. Please welcome from Rochester, Sonny Whitey! Whiting's got a lot of noisy mates in the auditorium. He's a scaffolder by trade. Vijender Singh, I suspect he's going to have somebody going out against him here who's going to have a go. Trains with Frank and Johnny Greaves, Sonny Whiting. Vijender Singh has been working with Lee Beard since he was based over here in the UK. living right down in the center of Manchester I'm told let's talk of him going up to Didsbury a sort of a, a pleasant suburb on the south side he thought it was a bit quiet wanted somewhere a bit more like Delhi <laughs> well White is definitely going to come to win but Singh is technically very good obviously all those medals he's won in the amateurs is just the, the, the obviously he's obviously a very skilled athlete so I don't think you can give a good boxer too much room to work got a bronze in Beijing and there he beat the current WBC champion Badu Jack on the way to that yeah. that's the, the guy, who beat, guy who beat George Groves of course yeah. got to the Commonwealth Games final last year in Glasgow lost to Anthony Fowler there Cousin of Robbie Fowler. It's a good win there for Fowler. Good right hand there from Singh. Not much power in it. I think that, that was the problem. It, his style was so made for the for the amateur computer scoring. Now, when the scoring sort of changed back to conventional scoring, that's why Anthony Fowler, who's obviously a massively strong middleweight, had some of success in that final in Glasgow. And Whiting's a strong bloke as well. I think Whiting should try and you know, double up the jab if he can. I know it's going to be hard against Singh, but try and push Singh back. Whiting in his fourth pro fight. His one defeat was against D. Mitchell. At the moment, Whiting's just... He's, he's turned himself in trouble. He's turned himself in the corners. He's trying to use the ring and move around. But what he's doing is just he's just engineering himself in the corner making it easier then for Singh and even though he hasn't been hit with anything and that's hurting him but Singh's been able to pick up the shots all good boxes nice like the punch from range need a bit of space to do their work good uppercut there from Singh and a good right hand and again because he's, he's got that that space and that time to, to let his punches off well he's moving nicely enough and he looks nice and Relaxed. You'd remember the emotions, wouldn't you? The boy clipped him with the right hand, I think, and then stumbled back with more of a cuff than anything else with that left hand. The last shot of the of the round. It's here in the corner. Vijender Singh with Lee Beard. Sit back. Oh, keep it. And again. Deep. Look it right in. Okay, throw the right hand okay, to the body of the jab. Just get your distance just a little bit too far, okay? So what you start doubling up with the jab now, okay? 
okay? Spit. We'll start giving up with the jab, okay? Spit this one out. Let's get on for here. Up down, huh? That's a decent right hand. He threw some good punches, I think Liam Beard's right. The, the, the distance is just he's just a little bit off. So he's landing on target, but he's not punching through the target. He hasn't hurt Whitehead at all mm -hmm. with anything, but, he's, but he is outboxing him because I just think the tactics from, from Sonny White they're not quite right. He's moving around, trying to make space for his own boxing skills. I think you've got to try and push Singh back. Well, let's see if Whiting can do a bit more in this round, because no doubt Singh taking the first three minutes. But Singh's done the right thing. He's, he's put himself in the centre of the ring. You know, he's, he's got all good ring generalship. He's taken everything from that ring, that centre of the ring, and put his punches together very nicely. What's the biggest single difference when a lad like him comes through from? A successful amateur career moving now into the pros what's the biggest difference he'll find well especially because he's been a product of the computer scoring it is setting your feet he is, he is setting his feet quite well but because you're so used to just scoring with just scoring and moving that you don't punch through the target you see a lot of Eastern Europeans when you when you're taught it from an early age then then it's inbred in you because you know these these kids have been taught just the, the light punches and spin off all straight punches as well not many body shots so it's just getting that, so it's all it is, you just take, you've got a little bit more time than what you think. Even though it's four rounds, you've got more time. But Singh's done, in Singh's done well, he's no good patient today, he's not, he's, he's a 20, 29 year old man, experienced in, in, in so many ways. You know, this is, this is his debut, he's so experienced as an amateur. Whiting's fans chanting their support, but the man is not able to find the targets so far. It's really had a very much success at all. It's amazing how good you, know, you, you try and engineer a guy around with your punches for your jab and move him on, move him onto shots, but the, the footwork is, is so important. Like Singh's now, he's dictating everything just by that moving that front foot and making making Whiting go where, where Singh wants him to go, sticking him in the corners, and then Singh there just doing a little little shift of the shoulders, coming back with the hook. Thought he threw in a low one there. Referee telling him off for getting the guy in the arm lock. Whiting being comprehensively outboxed. Yeah, he, he's trying to get his own boxing going, but it's, it's not going to work. It seems obviously, you know, such a good school boxer. Seeing there, good, good lateral movement and using the feet as well to just turn the opponent. You've got to try and push this guy back. You've got to make it hard to sing, I think. And even then, that might not be enough. I think that's the only way that White is going to have any success is if he tries to push, push Singh back. Good time, Two right, good hand right hands and the left hook follow up. He still haven't got the, enough, the right power yet in the punches, Singh. That'll come though, won't it? Yeah, I think it will come. No, obviously you know, he hasn't got a lot of time on his side regarding you know, they want to put him through the ranks as quick as they possibly can. But you've got a good boxing bit, I think you'll, you'll catch on really quickly about just turning from the waist a little bit more and just punching, like I said, just punching through the target rather than just trying to hit the target. But good, it's been good from Singh, I think he's been controlled, strong, strong in his stance. He looks well, well conditioned and defensively cute as well. Out in the book here, okay? Get this one out. Yeah. Rinse him out, rinse him out here. Just stay at that jab, bam, bam. Straight one, two, okay? Straight down the middle, alright? When you when you come to close yourself outside, inside the body, okay? Also, when he's near the ropes, get your distance right, touch, touch, stiff arm, okay? Hold him with a stiff arm, straight right over the top, okay? Nice and straight, alright? Don't try anything too complicated, keep it simple, okay? So we move now into the third of the four rounds in this middleweight debut of Vijender Singh against Rochester's Sonny Whiting. Whiting just landed with a one-two. I think I think Singh caught him on the gloves. 
Bit of punching oh, just back of him with the right hand there. He ducks his head a little bit wide in, so then I don't think he's hurt as much. He's just a little bit off balance on where he is. There, he's done it again, he's ducked his head again there, and he's swinging. He's not looking at the target. That's why he's having no success. I think he must try and push Singh back with three straight punches and move behind the punches. Looking strong though, isn't he, Singh? And his punches are not, are not strong at the moment, but his, you know, his demeanour is strong. He looks physically strong. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a great shot. Whiting takes it well there. It's only, only an inch or two for the distance of the shot that makes that that makes that a crunching right hand rather than just a really good shot. But he's not he's not allowing Whiting off those ropes or off out of those corners, is he? Just that front foot just Ushered in, wiping where he wants him to be. Good shot as well there from Singh again. Some good skills. Martin trying to trade with him. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> he felt it as well, didn't he, Singh? There, he a little did. bit of a showboat. White in there, a little bit, little bit of a nod with the head. <laughs> Well, that was just pretty stupid, wasn't it? Right in front of the referee, losing a point, and rightly so. He'd been clipped by a big right hand, wanted to hold on, and then stuck the nut on him. It wasn't heavy, <laughs> but it was obvious. That's why the referee had to give a, give a warning then. Oh, good shot here from Singh, lovely. Oh. oh, good shot again, it's all over, it's all over. Well, we wonder whether he could punch. He hits him hard enough there. Two or three good shots right on target. And Bajenda Singh will be very relieved, but he should also be happy. You know, John, I thought it was a good display from him. He, you know, he looked really, you know, we were saying we were about his punching power, about we just hitting the target, not punching through the target. But he was getting confidence and stronger as the fight went on. And that last little combination was just lovely. The right hand there, really good. Referee done right there, because he, he sort of spanned the head around there to, of Whiting, same with lovely, lovely distance there, lovely timing. Just that pedigree there, that, that great damage of pedigree he had. Really accurate with all his punches, Singh. Those ring generalship was spot on. I thought he looked good tonight. He was good, yeah, he looked really good, well, really good. I've seen some you know, sort of flat debuts, and you see a guy come then over here with a much yeah. vaunted reputation, and it was a banana, banana skin ready to happen, wasn't it? But he, he did what he had to. The good thing about him was his dominance in, in, in like, I like his footwork, the way he just he just bossed everything from the centre of the ring, and he just made White in, use the whole of the ring, back always on the ropes, always in the corner. It, it, was, a, it was a good display. This kid's gonna, got a good future ahead of him. Right, here's Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes eight seconds of the third round, your referee has stopped the contest. He deemed Sonny Whiting was in no position to continue. The winner in the blue corner from Delhi, India, Vichenda Singh. I thought he looked good tonight. Somebody here is going to be really interesting to see how far he can go in this sport. But first time of asking, he did everything that was asked of him, and it'll be interesting to hear what he makes of it. Yeah, we were impressed also in the studio ringside, especially as he's had such long days as an amateur. Um, Tommy, you know that feeling getting in the ring. We were chatting and spotted some of the